if I move the playhead in Logic or if I hit play, Pro Tools will follow along. And after changing just a few settings, Logic now follows Pro Tools. First, download IP MIDI. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Then open Audio MIDI Setup, go to the MIDI Studio window, and open IP MIDI, check the loopback box, and hit Apply. Next, open Logic and Pro Tools. In my last video about this, I said that you had to open Logic first to control Pro Tools, and Pro Tools first to control Logic, but I found that this actually doesn't matter what order you open the programs in. So I tend to open Pro Tools first, especially if I have a video in both sessions, because when I open Logic first and then Pro Tools, the video engine in Pro Tools tends to crash. Let's say you want Pro Tools to listen to Logic's playhead. In Logic, open Project Settings, and under Synchronization, click on General, and make sure Auto Enable External Sync and Tap Tempo is unchecked. Then go to MIDI, and set the first destination to IP MIDI port 1. Then check MIDI timecode and MIDI machine control, and you can uncheck listen to MIDI machine control input. There shouldn't be anything you need to touch in MIDI sync preferences, but if you like, you can check. Go to MIDI sync in your preferences in Logic, or this button will take you straight there. MMC uses should be set to MMC standard messages, and all of these should be checked. In Pro Tools, hit the clock and then make sure Generate MTC is turned off. Then under Setup and Peripherals, under Machine Control, uncheck MIDI Machine Control and check MIDI Machine Control Remote. Under Synchronization, MTC Reader and Generator Port should both be IP MIDI Port 1. Also make sure that your frame rate is the same in Pro Tools and in Logic. Now, if you move Logic's playhead, Pro Tools will do the same. And if you hit play in Logic, Pro Tools will take a second, and then it'll catch up and be in sync. To have Logic be controlled by Pro Tools, go into Logic's project settings again. This time, check Auto Enable External Sync and Tap Tempo. Go back to MIDI under Synchronization, and uncheck MTC and MMC and then check Listen to MIDI Machine Control Input. If you go back to General for a second, the Auto Enable External Sync and Tap Tempo option here is actually the same as the Auto Sync In option if you have the Sync button enabled in the control bar. So if I uncheck this, it unchecks it in the project settings. Next, take Pro Tools offline and turn on the MTC Generator button. Go back to Setup, Peripherals, and under the Machine Control tab, uncheck MIDI Machine Control Remote and check MIDI Machine Control. In Pro Tools Preferences, go to the last tab, Synchronization, and make sure Machine Chases Memory Location and Machine Follows Edit Insertion Scrub are both checked. Now when I move the playhead in Pro Tools, Logix will also move, and if I hit Play, they'll play together. It might not always work on the first try. Sometimes I have to stop and restart playback and then Logic will follow along. You might also notice that they're playing in sync right now, but if I stop and go to a specific time, they are always going to be off by about a second. And I didn't have this issue when Logic was sending MMC, but for some reason only when Pro Tools is sending MMC. I couldn't figure this one out. So if anybody has the solution to this or knows what the problem is, I'd love to hear it, so please let me know in the comments. As usual, there's going to be a link to a PDF version of this video guide in the description, and anyone who has already bought the All Logic Tutorials PDF is going to get an updated version of that guide for free that includes this new one. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.